welcome back to my channel. I am Christy. I am so excited for today's video because we are doing a luggage comparison slash review and I love doing videos like this. I also feel like they're very helpful in general. I'm one of those people who is constantly reading reviews and looking up reviews on YouTube before I buy anything. So I hope that this video is helpful in you on your luggage journey, your search for the perfect luggage. That is what we're here for. So I hope that this video is helpful for you as you search for your perfect luggage. The two brands that we're going to be looking at today are Base, which is the brand owned by Shay Mitchell. That is, I'm, why am I doing this? I'm doing this like I'm holding up like the suitcase. The first brand that we're talking about today is Base, which is owned by Shay Mitchell. I feel like that brand has taken the travel industry by storm. Um, I have some products from Base. I have done a video about those products previously, like a little review of them. So I will link that above and in the description. We will be doing a comparison and review of Base versus Level 8 suitcases. Level 8 is a newer brand on the market. I had not heard much about them until they reached out to me. Uh, so they did send me this suitcase to try out and review. Aside from that, I'm not being compensated and I did purchase the base suitcase with my own money. So we are gonna do a little compare, contrast, uh, review comparison. I'm so excited. Before we jump into our discussion, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below. I do predominantly travel content. Uh, I share travel guides, travel vlogs. I do reviews of different travel items. Uh, I think that's fun to do. I think that's fun to watch. Aside from travel content, I also do things like daily vlogs, share what I've been reading lately, and share videos about some of my other interests, mainly K-pop. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe below and let's go ahead and jump into this review. So what we will be comparing today is the base 26 inch check bag and the level eight Voyager 26 inch check bag. I'm gonna go ahead and read off some basic stats for these suitcases. I will also put them here on the screen. So let's start with level eight's checked bags. We're taking a look at the Voyager checked bag, the 26 inch one. The checked bag also comes in a 24 inch and a 28 inch. For the 26 inch checked bag at level eight, it is $269.99. This is a newer brand, so they don't have a ton of color options, but it does come in three colorways. One is a half yellow, half black, which is what I got sent. There is a black and there also is a navy. Again, we're gonna jump into the nitty gritty in a moment, but a few other things about the level eight to keep in mind. They have the ultra quiet and ultra smooth 360 degree spinner wheel. It has a TSA approved combination lock and it also has a very creative handle design that allows for more space in packing. I actually think that's one of the biggest things that intrigues me about the level eight suitcase is that it seems like the capacity to pack things is bigger than a lot of other suitcases that I've seen of the same size. It feels like it has a bigger capacity. The style and design of the uh, handle is really interesting, which you will see in a moment. Uh, but those are the, some of the key features on the level eight. So the base 26 inch roller bag uh, comes in at a price point of $278. So a little bit more expensive than the level eight suitcase, but honestly not that much more expensive. It does come in five different colors, which is really nice. It comes in a beige, a black, a gray, a navy, and a pink. The pink is so cute. I ordered the navy, but like, do I need to exchange it for the pink? Cause the pink is really cute. So again, the base suitcase also has the 360 degrees, uh, ultra quiet, ultra smooth uh, spinning wheels. There is a weight indicator on the base bag that I'm gonna have to look into once we kind of dive into the details because I'm very intrigued by that. The base bag is expandable with an extra two inches and it also has the TSA approved locks. So on face value, and as you see, once we like get into the bags, you're gonna see that there are a lot of similarities between them. I do think it's important to point out again that the price point is very similar. Um, it's about $10 price difference between the two. Uh, but I think we should go ahead and dive in and talk through all of the details of the bag from the time that you open the boxes until you are inside the bag checking out the scene. So right out the gate, once you open the bags, you will see that the level eight suitcase does come with a dust bag. Uh, but the base suitcase does not. The base suitcase comes in like a plastic bag that like covers it, probably just to keep it like safe from scratches in transit, but it doesn't have a dust bag, whereas the level eight bag does. As you're able to tell, once you get them out of the bags, you can tell that the shape of the two suitcases is pretty different. The level eight suitcase has a way more rectangular shape, 
which I think is what lends it to have such a large capacity compared to the base one. I actually think that the level eight has over 10 more liters of capacity than the base suitcase. And I think that's because of this unique rectangular shape. One of the interesting points about the level eight bag, and I actually think this is one of their selling points, is that it has this unique wide handle design. This comes into play once you're packing the suitcase, which I will show you when we open it up, but it doesn't have those annoying grooves that most suitcases have from the handle being down the middle. Since this is down the sides, it makes it way easier to pack the suitcase to a fuller capacity. As you can see, the spinning wheels work well. It is easy to carry with you, bring along with you. You can see the little lock here to the side, and I think we should go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like inside. I've opened up the level eight suitcase. As you can see, both sides have these little separators. We will start with this side. So this is the side that has the handle on it. Once we open up this little separator, you'll be able to see what I mean about this not having the lines running down the middle of it. Since the handle is wide, the ridges of the handle run along this side here. So this right here is where that is. So this whole area here in the middle is open for you to pack different items, which I think is super nice. I think that that's actually a really interesting and functional idea. I actually think that that is really, really nice. I don't know why it hasn't been done in more suitcases before. To me, it doesn't mess with the stability of the handle. Uh, that was the only thing that I felt like could maybe make a difference with not having the handle running down the middle of the bag. But I mean, the handle is still really stable. You still have complete control when you're rolling the bag. So I think that's a great idea. I know me personally, I'm always like trying to pack like socks down the middle um, of that random little section and I feel like this gives you so much more room to pack things. As you can tell for a 26 inch suitcase the capacity on this is huge. You can fit so much in here. You also have this little optional uh, separator if you want to separate your items out a little bit uh, which again I think is a really nice little feature if you choose to use that. So yeah, it is very deep, very wide. I feel like this is great. I feel like you can fit so much in here. I think that this is definitely one of the biggest pros of the bag is its capacity. On the other side of the bag, you'll see a feature that is actually in the base bag as well. The base bag also has these little sections where you can separate different items out. Uh, this again would be great if you're going on a beach trip and you wanted to put anything that was still wet from your trip. You can put it right in here. You could put dirty items in here, um, whatever you would want. And again, there's another little like mess section down here if you want to store things separately in either of these little sections. And then once you open this up, again, huge amount of space, uh, tons of open space to be able to pack this bag. I really like that suitcases are starting to include these separate little compartments. I think it's really nice to be able to separate different things out into these compartments. And again, I just think that the capacity on this bag is really, really nice. So much capacity, so much space for things. I really think the rectangular shape really lends itself well to being able to pack as much as possible. I would say that the only con that I would want to see um, how it would play out in use is I do feel like the outer shell on this doesn't feel quite as sturdy as other bags that I've used. Even when you compare the outer shell of the level eight, to the outer shell of the base bag. Okay, they sound the same. Amazing technique, Christy. But if you were here to feel this, the base bag just feels a lot sturdier, a lot harder than the level eight. So that is something that I definitely want to see how this wears when actually using it. Aside from that, I think the level eight is a great option for a check bag, especially with the storage space, but I will give my final thoughts at the end. So let's take a look at the base bag. We have our base bag. This is their medium check-in size. Um, it is a 26 inch bag. The level eight does not have an expandable middle section, whereas this bag does. The base bag will allow you to expand this by two inches, which is really nice. I always really like that in a checked bag, but I will say, as you just saw with them next to each other, the level eight is already quite a bit wider as it is. So I feel like this two inches on base kind of puts it at the same size then as the level eight 26 inch carry on, or I'm sorry, checked bag. A couple things that I want to point out about the base bag that I just think is super, super nice. So this handle, while it is like the traditional middle of the bag handle, this handle pops out so easily and so smoothly and the handle has this little feature. Let me see if I can get it zoomed in on this. 
So this handle has a cushion, which is actually amazing. <laughs> this is a cushion under here. So when you're gripping it and pulling it through the airport, it is super comfortable on your hand. This is something that I never would have thought would be important to me. I never even thought about this on a suitcase. I, I mean, didn't cross my mind. It's amazing. Like as soon as I pulled this out of the bag, I was like, wait, I love that this is padded. This is so nice. So again, just a really nice way to grip the bag and really nice um, and comfortable when taking it through the airport. Another feature that the base bag has that is super cool before you even open it. I was wondering what this was and I was looking online and it's a way to hook another bag to your suitcase. So let's say you have a tote bag that you're using like a trolley pass through. Um, a lot of the base stuff has the trolley pass through on their bag so you can easily put that right here. But let's say you also have another little purse and you wanna be hands free. You take out this little strap here, link it through your bag and then put it in this notch right here. And would you look at that? Genius. That's so smart. Oh, my dog's here. Hey, Lucy. I mean, this is literally genius. And I think this is where base always really impresses me. I feel like they add all of these little functionalities that are so unique and just so well thought out. In my other review video of the base items that I have, I just kept being blown away by how functional everything is and how thoughtful these little additions are. So little strap to add a little bag if you would like. Let's crack this baby open. Also, the color is reading kind of light on camera. I think it's because of my lighting in here. It is a true navy shade. It is not as light as this looks right here. We have the little TSA approved lock on this as well. Again, in the base suitcase, there are just so many little elements that are so functional that really continues to sell me on their products. So in the 26 inch check in suitcase, you have these two straps on this side that can compress your stuff down. You can pull these as tight as you want. You also have this little interior flat pocket here that zips shut. Now this piece here is an optional compression divider. So it buttons out here. You can just like unclip the buttons if you don't want to use this, but it does have extra storage. If you want to put more in here, this zips down really tight. So it kind of compresses everything in here. And then it also serves as a divider between your bag, which can be really nice. And I feel like, especially if you were trying to pack really strategically and organize everything, this could be really, really helpful. But again, if you don't want to use it, it buttons right out and you can remove it from the suitcase. So this is what it looks like inside. You know, as we were just talking about with the level eight suitcase, this does have the middle uh, handle. So it does have kind of the classic suitcase setup that you kind of have to, you know, pack strategically around these pieces, which again, I think is a pro of the level eight that you have all of this open space to work with. But as you can see, it's pretty classic in size um, and in capacity as far as a 26 inch check in bag. I do think that these little touches are so nice though. I absolutely will use this. I think this is so smart. I have a hard time using packing cubes when packing, uh, but I like this as an organizer to divvy things up and kind of compress everything down. So I think that that is super nice. I'm really torn on whether or not I'm gonna keep this navy color. A huge part of me wants to get the pink now that it's out. I just think it's so cute. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys like color wise for suitcases. Like, do you normally go neutral? Do you like a pop of color? I just think that pink is so stinking cute. So I might need to get it instead of the navy. Might need to do a little exchange situation, but let's go to this other side. So there's a lot happening on this side too. Again, this has the same compartments that the level eight bag has, except these kind of look like they might be a slightly bigger capacity, but it could just be my ass playing tricks on me. But we have, again, this kind of like plasticky one that can be really good for wet items if you're coming back from a beach vacation, pool vacation. And then we have this compartment in the level eight bag. This is mesh. This one obviously is not. And then what I also think is super fun, I swear base just like gets it for like all of this stuff. They just understand. So the base bags also come with these little functional baggies that you can use for various things on your travels. So this one's main purpose is to be your laundry bag. So any used clothing you can pop in here. And then this also you could use probably, I'm looking at this and thinking this would be great to use for like hair tools. You could even use this as a shoe bag. I feel like this could have a whole bunch of different purposes and functions, 
But again, it's just really nice that these come with the suitcase. I love the idea of a little laundry bag coming with the suitcase. I just think that that's really nice. And again, Shay Mitchell, super, super thoughtful. I think that's the word that I keep coming back to with the base items. Every time I get a new one, I just feel like they are so thoughtful. Everything that they put in this bag is so well thought out and so functional, and I just really love that. So we zip out this section to move the compartments out. And again, really good capacity, fits plenty of things, has a two inch expander. In general, I'm already really impressed by this bag. I also just Googled how to do the weight indicator. So let's take a look at that. Apparently the indicator is here on this little side handle. There's this little section right here. And if you hold your suitcase up by this side handle, if this little thing here turns red, that means your suitcase is over 50 pounds. How cool is that? I would buy that just for this. Is that pathetic? Is that like really lame that I would buy this suitcase just for the weight indicator? Love that energy. The only thing I might say about the base bag that I'm unsure of just like in these initial like moments, like kind of taking a look at it is the zipper feels a little, I don't think flimsy is the word. The zipper just feels a little resistant. I don't know. The zipper almost feels a little, I don't know. A cheap isn't the word either. I'm trying to think of what word to use. The zipper just feels a little odd. It kind of like, kind of pulls a little at different points. So the zipper is the only thing I'm not like 100% sure on. Okay, let's share my final thoughts on level eight versus base, uh, kind of how I would proceed with purchasing and my overall final thoughts. So I think that both suitcases are absolutely worth the money. I think that the biggest pro for the level eight suitcase is the capacity. You can fit so much in that bag, it's actually kind of astounding. I really think that the rectangular shape really lends itself to being able to pack way more than the average 26 inch check-in suitcase. I also really like that wide set handle design for more strategic packing. I think that the level eight suitcase and the base suitcase both have similar functionality and components as far as organization in the bag for packing. It's hard for me to choose which one I would pick off the cuff because I feel like as far as extras, I would pick base, but I absolutely love the shape and size and capacity of the level eight. I actually really like the aesthetic design of the level eight as well. I like that it almost looks like a little trunk. I feel like I like that aesthetic. I mean, I did hope to get a more neutral color level eight from the company. Again, level eight, thank you for sending me the suitcase. So they did send me the yellow and black, which like I don't like love the color combo. It really is screaming like, wow, she's a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan, which like obviously really on brand for me. So I do think like the neutral colors look really nice on the level eight. Obviously it's nice that the base comes with more colors. I guess what this comes down to is that it depends on what you're looking for. If you like these organizational extras and the bells and whistles, if you will, that come with the base bag, then I would definitely go with that. If you're looking for something that has the capacity and the space for you to pack everything that you need for your trip, especially if you're an overpacker, I would go with the level eight. I mean, the capacity on the level eight is crazy. I want to say that it's like 12 liters more than the base. So that's kind of wild that you get that much bang for your buck on the level eight suitcase. Overall, I do really like both of these bags. I'm definitely gonna use both. I might be exchanging the base one for a different color. When I ordered the bag, they had some out of stock and the pink hadn't been released yet. So now I might need to exchange it for the pink because it's so stinking cute. I really hope that this review was useful. I hope this comparison was useful. If you have any questions or comments about the base suitcase or the level eight suitcase, feel free to leave a comment below. We can chat about it all down there. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions and I'm happy to answer any questions to the best of my ability. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. It really does help me out. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one.